Samantha wins the case. Megan poisoned herself with an overdose of spare drugs. Hello, friends. Welcome to Breaking Royal News about the notorious hypocritical couple Harry and Meghan Markle on our Kate Middleton and the Queen News Version 2 channel. In Spare, it is revealed how Harry lost his virginity to Sasha Walpole, an older lady, in a field next to a bar. A royal critic claims that Meghan Markle's hope that the publication of Prince Harry's book Spare would increase their star profile has failed. The Duchess of Sussex, according to Kenzie Schofield, is embarrassed that Sasha Walpole, the lady with whom Harry lost his virginity, has come forward after the fact of their experience was revealed in his biography. Ms. Walpole expressed her shock that the Duke of Sussex provided so extensive details about the disputed night in an interview with Piers Morgan on Talk TV. Ms. Schofield responded by stating to New Magazine, Meghan and Harry must be feeling the very worst about this. Harry probably didn't anticipate Sasha ever coming forward. She was just briefly referenced in his book, but now she's exposing it like it's a complete affair. More has been made of it than he had meant. Meghan will feel terrible about the reaction it received. She wants different kinds of attention than this. I believe she believed that by writing this book, they would become even more famous. But in reality, it has just made them the punchline. With an older lady, Harry described his encounter with Ms. Walpole as a disgraceful incident in which she handled him like a young horse. Sasha Walpole, a digger driver who is 40 and just two years older than Harry and one year younger than Meghan, is a mother of two. She discussed her mention in Spare with Piers Morgan. I was stunned and thought he'd delivered something right to my door. Why he went into such depth is beyond me. He might have simply stated that he had lost his virginity. However, he explained where it occurred, in a field behind a bar. I can wait patiently and hope it goes away, but at that point you're constantly watching your back and it seems like a ticking time bomb. Harry and Meghan will be working behind the scenes to improve their public image, Ms. Schofield continued. She said, The last thing Harry and Meghan wanted when they picked up and came to the United States was to end up a laughingstock. So I'm sure there are many team meetings taking place where they discuss how they can bring Harry and Meghan's brand back on track. It will be difficult to get over this. Why else would Meghan approve it? I imagine Meghan reading that section of the book and thinking, This is not that horrible. She presumably believed that things in there are much more harmful and would be picked apart by the public. It says something about the intelligence of both Harry and Meghan and that they thought the puerile drivel of spare would elevate their idea of celebrity. Faced with derision and plummeting popularity, what will do? Stay quiet or, unable to deal with the royal family's silence and lack of an apology, Will they fire more missiles at the royal family? They'll target the royal family again, maybe even hurling more damaging accusations to force a reaction. If they do, they will succeed only in damaging themselves. The royal family's say-nothing strategy works. Harry and Meghan can't deal with that and may self-destruct completely. Up until now, we can totally say that Meghan Markle's belief that the release of Prince Harry's book Spare would heighten their celebrity status has backfired. For always going on about how intelligent Markle apparently is, she is as dim as her husband. Anyone with two functioning brain cells would know that Harry's book is not a good book, might have sold a lot of copies, but the more it sells, the more it damages its own reputation. A source said that Meghan Markle partly took advantage of her skyrocketing popularity, thanks to Spare, to scupper the case of her half-sister. Samantha Markle, Meghan's half-sister, is suing Prince Harry and Meghan for $75,000 on grounds of defamation and harmful untruth. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's celebrity profile may make it challenging for them to have a fair trial in the defamation case with Samantha Markle. 
According to a legal expert who spoke to express.co.uk, the couple's high degree of renown might sway public opinion and make it impossible to have an unbiased jury. Samantha Markle, 58, is suing Harry and her younger half-sister for remarks they made in their notorious interview with Oprah Winfrey in 2021, saying they were intentional and clearly untrue to a large global audience. The Hive Law's owner and legal expert Sean Breyer said, The general public's perception of the case and the celebrity status of the participants may sometimes affect how it turns out. This might make it challenging to conduct a fair trial, since jurors might be influenced by how the general public views the parties involved. For instance, in high-profile celebrity cases, the media coverage can be extensive and sway public opinion. This makes it more difficult for jurors to stay unbiased, since it may cause them to create an opinion about the case before it ever enters the courtroom. He added, Additionally, the party's celebrity statuses may draw additional media attention, which can put pressure on the judge and jury to render a decision that the general public will accept. In the end, the impartiality and integrity of the legal system determine whether such instances may result in a fair trial. Samantha stated that one of the lies told by Meghan during the pair's notorious appearance with Oprah Winfrey was that Meghan was an only child. But in a formal response to the slander action, the Duchess's legal counsel stated, This impression cannot be refuted by any means. It is hard to think of a more individualized and individual experience than how one perceives their own upbringing. Additionally, Samantha entirely disregards the context in which Meghan mentioned her upbringing as an only child. Samantha filed the case alleging, among other things, that Meghan's negligence and acts of conspiracies caused their father to suffer severe anguish. Whatever the merits of these allegations, which seem dubious at best, American law traditionally shields aspiring public people from slanderous charges made by disinherited relatives. According to Mr. Michael, the court will probably dismiss the claim. He clarified, The legal system takes this action to safeguard citizens against unjustified lawsuits that are used as leverage in an effort to extort money or to exact revenge on persons with sizable discretionary incomes. As a result, it is likely that Samantha's claim will be denied. However, one expert quickly countered, Fame didn't stop the judge in Fairfax, Virginia, from finding an unbiased jury for Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. It was also televised, which ensured that nobody with a brain could say anything was rigged. Samantha should have a trial in Fairfax. It's known for good juries, but she's probably got limited money on hand. If Megan thinks that Samantha's lawyers aren't allowed to use her less-than-honest high court proceedings, then she'd be wrong. Not of sound character. Meg lied and got busted. This is going to be so interesting. And no, American judges are not influenced. Plenty of famous people are in jail right now. What do you think about Meghan Markle's thinking about fame and using it to her sister's lawsuit? Let us know your thoughts below in the comment section. We hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this newsletter. See you in the next videos. Goodbye.